Hello YouTube, doing as Fatson, uh, we're going to be playing some Anti-Birth again, this is episode 5, I believe was the order on this one. Uh, last couple runs I've had, I played as Bethany and we won, however didn't unlock anything on the post-it. I also noticed on the last video that the microphone was cracking a little bit, um, I hopefully have resolved that. Uh, I found a... Apparently there's a problem with the Blue Yeti mic, specifically with the game, and you can change one of the options, and it uh, hopefully sounds better. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, I'll also check it out after, and we'll we'll see. We'll check it out, but it's always weird to hear your own voice. Anyway, so we've been doing uh, Anti-Birth with Bethany and Isaac, and random, I think, once or twice, but I wanted to kind of play an Eden run and see if we can get some of the... Uh, Alt path kind of going. It's been a while since I played as Eden. Okay, I gotta turn on the item list there. So we have Curse of the Blind. And there's our seed is S6VH S82R. Sack of pennies and mom's bottle of pills. Oop, uh, minimize that. Shot speed up is okay. And we got. Shot speed up. Oh, I forgot I have that turned on still. The announcer. Uh, Bob's Curse is okay. Gives us access into this Tinted Rock right here. So, how's everybody doing? Not that you can answer me in real time, but you know, hopefully everybody's... Uh, I was going to say summer vacation. Uh, winter vacation, their holidays went well. I can say mine went pretty decently. Still got a little bit of family to visit. Um, but for other than that... It's not too bad. We've got a little bit of driving to do, and Canadian highway driving in the winter is always less than fun. I'm just going to get that in there to get a little bit of room. So our damage is okay, but not great. Wouldn't mind a little bit of DPS. This might be a secret room right here. It's good. That money's even better. Better butter, better butter. Uh, no keys, can't really do much there. Let's see if there's anything else in the poops. Nothing. Okay. Wouldn't mind checking the shop. We have enough money to make it worthwhile. And I'll, I'll probably maybe check the curse room. Oh, okay, those guys spawned from them. Um, oh man. Can't get these attack patterns down. Spiders. I think I take more damage to spiders than anything else in this game. I wouldn't. I think they're maybe adding it in uh, Afterbirth Plus is a bestiary, and it'd be kind of nice or neat to see what enemies have killed you the most or you've killed most of. What's your KD in the game per se? We need, like, Pentagram or the Mark or something like that. So one key. The card could be really good. Unless you give me Bomb's Rotten Head, which I'll probably take over Bomb's Bottle of Pills. That didn't hit us. Ooh, we got lucky. Alright, come on, Justice card, Herophant. We need damage. Devil card is okay. Um, so what do we do? We can't get into the shop. Might get latch key from the boss. I don't know. That's a bit of a stretch, but might be worth it. This is probably the second secret room. And red hearts. With all those red hearts, I'm just going to check the curse room ever so quickly. You never know. Sin robes. Black hearts. Early devil deal. Two pills. Don't worry, this pill is mostly safe, but just in case you start chug, feeling chug, itchy chug. and you scratch off some of your skin. What is don't happening? Worry. That's just dead skin. What is dead skin? What? It's an announcer. Oh, I tell ya. I should have went and got a red heart. Good lord. I almost wanna just like 
Okay, well, let's not die. Uh, I was gonna say, I almost wanna just, like, restart the game and turn the announcer off. And this is, uh, one of the anti-birth bosses. Um, oh, freaking attack patterns. Uh, okay. I am an idiot. Let's just call it as it is. So I'm obviously going to do another run, considering we didn't even beat the first one. I uh, have not unlocked Jacob as of this point. I'm not entirely sure how to unlock Jacob, and I think it's done through um, beating the secret boss that I don't even know how to get to. So I'm going to do another Eden run right quick, straight away. And we got the pack and red candle, and I believe that's the jawbreaker. So I'm feeling automatic, or not automatically, but a lot better about this. Do we just shoot a tooth as well? Hermit. And we are still going to have the announcer. So this run is about, yeah, we do shoot a tooth, but we don't have the, oh, that's Jawbreaker. Oh, I see what it does. Ooh, a crawl space. That is amazing, to say the least. Infestation 2 is one of my all-time favorite items. And I'm going to check the curse room. Yeah, Infestation... This run is about, I don't know, 600 times better than the other one. Uh, however, I had no excuse to really lose the first one. It was just poor play... Uh, it's been like a couple days since I've actually played. Um, not that that's an excuse, but it's actually not that easy to quickly get back into the groove with Isaac, especially in a like an anti-birth or a mod or, or something that's just kind of different attack banners that you're not necessarily used to. It's a good red flame. I think I will use a bomb here. Uh, I probably should have placed it near the top of the room. I'm going to keep Jawbreaker. It's a fun item. And I'm not really feeling anything here. I might just get the Spirit Heart and go. Counterfeit Penny is okay. Not really what I'm looking for. I think the occasional uh, Tooth Shot is actually pretty valuable. Fire out. Thank you, spiders. Um, not gonna use my last bomb for a secret room. Let's get that up there. The haunt should be relatively easy. Red candle kind of makes quick work of them. Already half done. Yeah, super easy. And we'll take the HP and go down to the sewer. All right, we've already made it further than the other run. I was less of an idiot. But no, the thing is with Isaac, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's pretty easy to get kind of out of it for a little bit. I'm just gonna hermit out. I didn't know frogs can run shops. That's just kind of weird. Oh, oh, hermit. Okay, I get it. What? I don't think I got that joke. Uh, really nothing I'm looking for here either. So I'm just going to get that fire in there. Somehow the fire works in water. Don't question it. Shut up. Yeah, red candle is really good. Um, hmm. So Spelunky's hat is good. Guillotine is actually, I think, better. It's one of those items that seems like it's a novelty, but in actuality, it's a pretty good item. Especially in cases where... Come on. These flies every time. Uh, Daddy Long Legs for sure. I was going to say, uh, guillotine can be a very, if you can handle the, 
offset of not really knowing where your shots are going to come from, you can actually do pretty good stuff with it. It's an orbital. It's a uh, tier delay down. I was going to say, come on. You daddy long legs. I might trade a bomb for the key and try to get a secret room. Nope, no secret room, but that's okay. I think that's a fair trade, right? Up it. At this point at, in the game. As there's a tinted rock right there, but we're not going to necessarily be able to get it anyway, so. Just try the pill. Bad choice. Bad choice indeed. So we got a luck up and a luck down. Was the luck up on the other run? Can't totally remember. Hmm. Whatever, we got a luck down there. Still gonna get the deal. Um, I heard that the angel items actually kind of got a, a pretty decent buff. Come on, bastards. Daddy long legs, you get in there. You do your thing. I don't even know how you're supposed to... Oh, I see how you got them. You gotta kite them out. Yeah. Okay, let's go up and grab that and still no bombs but that's okay <coughs> oh my gosh I think I almost died all right Beelzebub actually a pretty easy boss if you can get rid of him quickly and we did so no complaints there and the Rainmaker Again, um, Infestation 2 is going to make quick work of some of these bosses, so I'm pretty stoked on it. And we actually got not enough bombs. Are you joking? Okay, we're going to have to look at the shop, see if we can get a bomb. And I think I'm going to grab both of these. Bloody Lust is a really good item, and Guppy's Tail uh, probably will pay for itself. Now, let's go get a bomb, hopefully. I can feel the bomb coming. There is. Ooh, and it's on sale. I think I'll buy the key, too. So, that'll unlock the mines. And there's a puzzle I'm trying to figure out, and I don't know how to do it, to get the second knife piece. And if I keep calling it the key piece, I'm sorry. It's just force of habit. You can hate me all you want for it. Um, I think it's the button room that shows up two XLs back to back. It's going to be a fast run if we continue like this. Okay, good. Thank you, Guppy's Tail. Never mind. You suck. All right, no more keys. There's two. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to check that quite yet. Thank you, Dad. Long legs. Good. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I think I have to check it. Kind of need the keys, so... Any long legs is so good. Look at that. Just took the... That dude all by himself. Because he's a big boy. I'm going to try it. I don't regret it necessarily, but it may have been the bad choice. So we got to play uh, pretty decently on the mines in order to get to the mausoleum. Because we need two soul hearts in order to get through the room. Daddy long legs. I wasn't necessarily ready for that. Can you take out that dude? Yeah, you can. Ooh, this room can be dangerous. Yep. Okay. This is good though. Uh, Midas touch could actually be amazing. But I think I'm gonna have to go, it hurts. 
Only because I don't know what it does. Um, um, maybe it's like a bloody lust kind of thing where you do more damage the more you get hurt. Like maybe it's just like a different version of it. Yeah, let's just pop those fires down right there. I don't even know what blew up there. Okay, we gotta buy the key. Buy the spirit heart. The jar and portable slot can go F themselves. Okay. That was not cool. And... Probably Harlequin Baby. Neither item there is really what I'm looking for. It's not the uh, take-home item. However, Harlequin Baby can be okay at best, so we'll grab it. You think secret room here? Not there. Hmm. Oh, uh, it couldn't be there anyway. Uh, I will trade a bomb actually for a key here. That's a decent trade considering we have four at this point, and I'll need the key on the next floor or a golden chest or whatever I kind of see that we need a key for. Key beggar. Key lime pie. Uh, what else? Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot that those guys did that. Ooh. All oh, these darkness rooms. I don't even know where I'm shooting, but I think Infestation 2 just did all the work for me. And for that, I'm actually really happy. Okay. Okay, focus. Daddy Long Legs, I love you. I love you. Daddy Long Legs. Oh, I see. So, safety pin gives us Tammy's headshots on when we get hit. I'm going to try this one. Earth throw, great. Get me the hell out of this room now. Oh god, just freaking dodge. These guys pop up at like the worst spot. Okay, we did okay. Now we get the golden key of, of course, because we're at the end of the level. Why else would you... I can't believe I got hit there. Okay, I gotta check. Yeah, so this is... The puzzle room that I don't understand. I know I've done this a couple times with bottom left and then clockwise, but let's think it through. I'm gonna try this one first. Okay, didn't hear anything. No. Okay, I don't know that one yet. We'll probably figure it out. Okay, come on, secret room. Give me get something good. It's not there, are you joking me? Okay, we're gonna get a free devil item. Uh, actually, quite solid that we are, considering I'm not gonna be able to take anything and Rotten Baby's really good too. That's probably my favorite familiar. I might get hit a couple times here, so let's not die. Stop firing bombs at breakneck speeds. Um, I did get hit, but we got synth oil. I don't think I can actually get there. Yeah, so I'm not even going to be able to see the devil deal. And that kind of sucks. Hmm. And that would kill me. So I guess I got to go down. Well, we're not getting the mausoleum done here. It's disappointing. No curse for once. 
So that kind of sucks, but uh, I couldn't really do much about it other than uh, play better. A little bit of a, uh, I don't want to say glitch, but maybe a room design flaw with having the devil deal kind of spawn in a spot where it's inaccessible. I know that was a problem with Rebirth before, and they generally fixed it with Afterbirth where there were rooms, or like boss rooms specifically, where you couldn't access it. Like they are, maybe it was with Afterbirth, now that I'm thinking about it, because they added in small rooms and weren't able to uh, to get to them sometimes. And unfortunately it just kind of happened. But they kind of patched it out. I wonder if they're, if the logic that, that was just a really good, really good dodge. I wonder if the logic uh, from Afterbirth wasn't used in the mod, is what I was trying to say there. It's totally possible because it is built off of Rebirth engine mechanics and so forth, so I don't know. Not a big deal. This means that we're more likely to get an angel room. The spiders are going to help out here. This is another room that I have never seen before and it appears that it is part of the mod. Feels like a mod room here. Check it. The gauze? Another Perthro. Well, the chances of me coming back to do that are pretty slim. Mostly because it is a trek and a half. But I do like that the uh, mini-map does show that there's a rune in the room. That's, that's a neat feature. right into the fire that'll serve you super well standard rebirth room okay um i don't know if i want to check the curse room oh, i didn't even see that okay let's not lose two in a row oh uh, how about that i would actually like to use the, the candle here and the whole reason behind it is those guys tend to eat spiders. Um, and I don't really want to lose a whole bunch of them. There is a tinted rock here. I figured there was too many rocks here to for there not to be. I'm just going to pop two of clubs. This is... Feels like it'd be a secret room. No. That's too bad. Okay, um, we've only seen one item room. And now that I say that, I realize that, of course there's only one item room. You were not on an XL floor. I just assumed that the entire run was gonna be that. And by based on the size of this floor so far, sure as hell feels like it. Might pop that uh, chest. Pop down. There's a fire there, but, you know, you spawned over it. Alright, nothing here. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna risk it. Ooh, worth it. I don't know if I showed the seed on this one. Uh, EE87B9YK. I don't think I did. Steak. Just gonna check in here. Blow these guys up. Can't really play the arcade. Yeah, I was kind of actually hoping for a key. No, not the arcade. I can't play the uh, the blood bank. There is a tinted rock here. I almost walked right by it. All right. Pop one of those down and get in there with guillotine. It actually does a ton of damage as an orbital. And... You get boss rush. Making good time. Um, Grab the Polaroid. I had a feeling it'd be a Crampo fight. Good. Figured that was worth the risk. And I actually think I'm just going to Perthrow. 
We got Abaddon. That's actually like the perfect pickup right now. Let's see what we got in here. Mom's knife, E. coli. Hmm. Hmm. Grab a sip of coffee to help me decide. I need the win. That was bad. And I, I kind of want to see what uh, Boss Rush, if there is any kind of new mechanics in here too. And honestly, I kind of forget the order. I know that in Rebirth there was a set order on... Sorry, on Boss Rush. So I'm probably never going to use Red Candle again, but, you know, it comes and goes. Like, yeah, I, I remember there being an order, I just don't remember what it is. I know you fight the Horseman in a couple phases, and then it's like near the last. Okay, that was lucky. Yeah, Gertie goes down pretty easy. This is going to be a quick, um, relatively quick boss rush. Actually, it's going to be a relatively quick run in general. We hit pin before he even spawned. And he gets lots of spiders. So that's the other thing too with um, Infestation 2. It's actually better than Guppy uh, in some cases, this being kind of one of them. Just because uh, with Guppy and Mom's Knife, you don't really spawn a ton of spiders. But with Infestation 2, you're still kind of getting them after every kill. So you can see them hitting Famine over there. Yeah, it is the Horseman. Okay, I'm vaguely remembering. And then I think it's the Fallen after. And then there's... The angel statues? No, that was just the last. And uh, butt bombs, that's okay. It's not amazing, but... Is there any other item in here? No, because it was Krampus, that's right. Okay, let's just go. Got an eternal heart, so we actually get one heart back. Abaddon was actually probably the perfect pickup. Not really worth it. But that was one of the things that they changed in Afterbirth was to uh, kind of give you like random bosses. Just save my keys for now. Not random bosses, but um, different bosses each time you, you went through. Which I guess is they were chosen at random, so it is random, but you know, whatever. I don't really want to check the pill. Go away, pill. Nobody likes you. Really worth it. I wonder if um, Mom's Knife and Jawbreaker do anything. I have a feeling they don't. Because I don't think Tough Love does anything with uh, Mom's Knife. But if you can get like an occasional four times damage from it, um, it could actually be somewhat amazing. All these golden chests and I got nothing. Oh, I got two keys. Okay. So not really worth cracking into the chests yet. Kind of need to save the keys for the chest. I uh, did not mean to just walk into them. That being said though, I mean, relatively painless. We got enough HP. Easiest warm room. Maybe second easiest. That one was pretty easy. Into a rock. Oh, Buck Bomb's got the little, uh, the wick on them. That's kind of neat. Don't get hit. And get through. 
get checks on. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm always torn on Mom's Knife um, as an item. You can make runs like this like pretty easy to kind of get through. And like you're just basically one hit the boss, but in general, um, can just be a little overpowered uh, as an item. And I'm not saying that like I need the challenge because I just lost on the first floor as Eden when I didn't have absolute shit HP, so I'm probably in no place to talk about it. And I keep getting hit and telling myself it's, you know, worth it because of bloody lost, but the thing is with Mom's Knife, it can, in some cases anyway, it can be pretty detrimental of an item, uh, especially if you get like soy milk with it. It's just god awful. Okay. I can't check that. And not really worth it. Don't worry, this pill is mostly safe, but just in case, if you start HP feeling down. itchy and you scratch off some of your skin, don't worry. That's just dead skin. I hope. So, the announcer's a little, uh, hit and miss for me. I still kind of want to turn him off. And it's nothing against the announcer at all. Uh, it's just that... It's good for like two runs. I will check this though. Um, did work. Sun card is good. I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, the announcer like it's on point. The the voice acting's fine. The humor is fine. Um, however, it just gets a little dated. Not dated, but uh, overdone, I guess. It's a nice little Easter egg, though. Is this an XL4? No. First of all, look at the map, you big dummy. Rock. Still got it. Still got it. Yes, my spiders. Ooh, didn't want. Glad I didn't get that open. Not there. It could be here, though. Not there either. Oh, I just assumed that this was going to be the boss fight. We may not even be close. Still more to go. No, don't open it. There we go. All right. Should be an easy fight. And by should, I mean of course it will. Oh, I got hit. You only make me stronger, though. I mean, we kind of have to, right? I don't think that gives us guppy. Don't think. Um, I got guppy's tail. Guppy's collar I just picked up. I don't think I got Guppy. I don't think. I kind of want to just use the sun card now. Just to know where I'm the going. Sun, it burns your eyes of your enemies. What I think? Okay. What if I don't want to burn the eyes of my enemies? Okay, probably just like running into a room that you don't know the enemies for sure. Probably a terrible idea. No. No. Get out of here, Loki. One more key, come on. Do we take it? Do we take the luck down? I don't know, maybe we should. How did you get afraid? What item do I have that makes you afraid? Oh, I got Abaddon. A duh. Oh, 
Okay. Get out of here, bony. Good. No. I am not going to take cursed eye. Well, I, first of all, it doesn't do anything with mom's knife anyway. And, uh... I took it relatively recently. I do not feel like putting myself through that again. It'd be kind of nice if you had, like, spectral tears or something. That you can actually hit these guys. I kind of get why they didn't do that, though. Gee, that's a lot of peas. Is that one of those skills that, like, expands your kidneys and you can piss in a jar? Um, Isaac's gonna go down pretty easy. Yeah, I just couldn't get out of that that way. Uh, that's not gonna be the secret room. Headless Horseman. Going down, son. That's a lot of pills. Look down. We don't know it. I don't really want to take it. Okay, just guillotine. Get out of my way. I mean, we're gonna be fine. I have no real bombs with the run. There's, yeah. Just need. Let's see what we get. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more HP for, to go through the chest, but I think we're still gonna win just fine. If I can't win a mom's knife, then what is wrong with me? And Satanic Bible, I'm going to take. Ability to fly on the chest is... I wonder if they did anything... No. Just grab that for the bombs. Ability to fly in the chest, as I was going to say, is uh, actually a little unneeded. There's no real rooms on here that you need to necessarily fly on. Uh, just got to might be mindful of creep. And, uh, red poops when you miss them, like a big dummy. Piercing shots does nothing. But it is an item. So we should get, uh, a decent amount of chest drops. Thanks to Guppy's tail. And we're gonna get a lot of spiders as we go through the floor which it's okay by me big room is relatively easy okay uh that you're gonna take a while But, we're going to get a lot of spiders from you. Or at least the spiders are going to like kill yourself. So... There's more? Where are you? There we go. Satanic Bible actually probably means that we're totally fine for the run. Oh god. Um, really, I only need like one or two charges and I... I think I would feel fine. Sure. May as well. I don't think it actually will do much. A lot of the synergies came in Afterbirth, so... Let's just pick it up. Ooh, Death Touch is a good pickup, though. A lot more damage. Oh, there is a, a couple, I guess. So we got Homing Knives, which is actually not that great with Mom's Knife. Okay, super greed. You're super dead. There was a chest uh, that we can go to with key. However, there's not really an item that's going to make this more of a win. If I'm being honest with you. Okay. This is probably the way we want to go. Um... Oh, we got like a speed upgrade from Satanic Bible, I think. I need to check that out. Okay, so there are some new rooms on the chest. That's um, that's good to know. So I was looking at this saying like, these are not necessarily new. Okay, 
can't fly, so watch out for creep. You know the pill? Lock up, HP down. I would trade that 100, per, 100 times over. And you scratch off some of your skin? Don't worry. That's just dead skin. I hope. Alright, there goes Blue Baby. That's the run. Um, I'm gonna remember to turn off the announcer and... Good God, that's loud. And, um... Didn't really do much on this one in terms of progress into anti-birth. However, it is a win after the god-awful loss, so... Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to be alerted of new videos upcoming. Uh, you can also see me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jonas Fatson and on Twitter at twitter.com slash Jonas Fatson. J-O-N-U-S-F-A-T-S-O-N. Hope everybody's had a great holiday and uh, I will uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.